Thank you for joining us for Midweek Prayer. I'm Pastor Andrea, and it is good to be together. It's my hope that this is a place where we can connect with God and with each other as we join our hearts in prayer. During our prayer time today, I will pray specifically for joys or concerns that have been shared with the church over the past week. If you have additional joys or concerns that you would like us to pray specifically for, please submit those by replying to this post or by emailing one of the addresses on the screen or contacting the church office. We will then pray for those requests next Wednesday during midweek prayer. Today, I invite you just to take a moment of silence to breathe and center yourself. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of the faithful and enkindle in us the fire of thy love. Amen. I now invite you to hear these words from Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, Though its waters roar and foam, and though its mountains tremble with tumult, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of the city, and it shall not be moved. God will help it when the morning dawns. The nations are in an uproar, and the kingdoms totter, He utters his voice, the earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord. See what desolations he has brought on earth. He makes wars cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I am exalted among the nations. I am exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. May God add his blessing to the reading and hearing of his word. We bow your heads for a word of prayer. O oh God, in the midst of the cacophony of voices that crush our spirit and deny our calling, voices that say, who do you think you are? We have come to hear your voice of affirmation. We come to hear your voice calling us to be and do what you have called us to be and do. Let this time of prayer quiet our fears, soothe our bruised souls, and energize us for ministry with your beloved world. Let faith, hope, and love abide here in our homes, here in our community, here in our world, but most of all, here in us. For Lord, we confess that we do not always love others as you call us to love. We have mistreated or spoken harsh words to people that you love. Forgive us. Fill us with your spirit so that all people see and hear from each one of us our words and expressions of your love and grace. Today we come with many different things on our minds and our hearts. And we trust you, Lord. So we pause and we pour our hearts out to you. Hear our silent cries. Together, we pray specifically for those who have COVID praying especially for Christian Noward and for Cindy Noward's sister-in-law. Lord, we pray for the family and friends of those who have died from COVID 
including the family and friends of Chris Bierman, who is a friend of Susan Miller's daughter. Lord, we pray for Travis Kinzinger, Christine and Eli's grandson, who's undergoing tests. We pray for the family of Gerald Esch, who died on January 19th. His wife, Sherry, died just a few weeks ago. Gerald is a brother-in-law to June Vaughn, an uncle to Linda McNall and Natalie Murray. And so we keep these families in our prayers. We pray for Harvey Glick, who had a heart catheterization this week. And we pray for Nikki Kunkel, who's recovering at home from knee replacement. Lord, we also lift up the Noward family. Not only do some of their family have COVID, but Myron's been down with a bad back. Lord, we lift them up to you. Comfort and heal all those who suffer in mind, body, and spirit. Give them courage and hope in their troubles and to bring them the joy of your salvation. Grant, Almighty God, that all who confess your name may be united in your truth, live together in your love, and reveal your glory in the world. Guide the people of this land and of all the nations in the ways of justice and peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We thank you for joining us today for Midweek Prayer, and we look forward to seeing you in digital worship on Sunday at 9.30.